In the 1930s, Einstein suggested that the universe could go through an infinite cycle of big bangs and big crunches. The expansion of our universe could have been caused by the collapse of a previous universe, effectively bouncing back from the contraction of the universe before it. So what if the Big Bang wasn't actually the beginning? What if it was just one chapter in an infinitely repeating story? This is called the cyclic universe theory. This theory proposes that our universe goes through endless cycles of expansion and contraction, like a cosmic heartbeat. The Big Bang is the pulse of creation, followed by billions of years of expansion. Eventually, gravity takes over, pulling everything back together in a big crunch. This crunch then leads to another Big Bang, and the cycle begins anew. The cyclic universe model is captivating. It paints a picture of a universe constantly renewing itself, a cosmic dance of creation and destruction playing out over eons. It also offers a potential solution to the question of what came before the Big Bang. Another universe, just like ours, but moving in reverse. This concept is echoed in some religious ideas such as the Wheel of Time in Hinduism and Buddhism, which regards time as cyclical, consisting of repeating ages. A periodic emergence, dissolution and re-emergence of all existences. One of the most famous physicists of our time, Stephen Hawking. Hawking, along with physicist James Hartle, proposed the no-boundary theory. This theory suggests that asking what came before the Big Bang is like asking what's north of the North Pole. Imagine the universe like the surface of a balloon. As you inflate the balloon, the surface expands. Now, think of the Big Bang as the very beginning of the balloon's inflation. According to the no-boundary theory, there is no before the Big Bang, because time itself, like the surface of the balloon, curves in on itself. In other words, time itself didn't exist before the Big Bang. It's a tough concept to wrap your head around, but it elegantly eliminates the need for a beginning at all. Instead of a starting point, the universe simply is. The multiverse theory suggests that our universe isn't alone. Instead, it's just one of countless universes, each with its own set of physical laws and constants. Imagine bubbles in a cosmic bubble bath, each bubble a different universe with its own unique properties. Some of these universes might be very similar to ours, while others might be completely different. Some might have different dimensions, different forces of nature, or even different laws of physics altogether. The possibilities are truly endless. How could a multiverse even exist? Some physicists believe that the rapid expansion of the early universe, known as cosmic inflation, more on that later, could have created bubble universes that budded off from our own. It's a mind-blowing concept, but it's one that many physicists find compelling. Let's rewind the clock back to the very first fractions of a second after the Big Bang, a time so early that it's almost unimaginable. According to the theory of cosmic inflation, the universe underwent a period of incredibly rapid expansion during this time, growing exponentially in a fraction of a second. In fact, it expanded faster than the speed of light, an astonishing concept that defies our everyday understanding of physics. Now, before you say, hold on, nothing can travel faster than light, Remember that this expansion wasn't the movement of objects through space. Instead, it was the expansion of space itself. A fundamental difference that makes this phenomenon possible. It was the expansion of space itself stretching and growing at an incredible rate. This rapid expansion helps explain some of the universe's large-scale features, like its remarkable uniformity, which we observe today. Imagine stretching a wrinkled sheet, pulling it taut until all the wrinkles disappear. Cosmic inflation is like stretching the fabric of space-time, smoothing out any initial irregularities and creating a more uniform cosmos. Cosmic inflation also provides a mechanism for the creation of the multiverse, a fascinating idea that suggests our universe might be just one of many. According to this idea, tiny quantum fluctuations during inflation could have been blown up to enormous sizes, becoming the seeds for separate bubble universes, each with its own unique properties and laws of physics. Quantum mechanics is a realm that defies our everyday understanding and challenges the very fabric of reality as we know it. Quantum mechanics governs the behavior of particles at the subatomic level, and it's a realm where the normal rules of physics seem to break down. Here, particles can exist in multiple states at once, and their behavior is inherently unpredictable. In the quantum world, things aren't so clear-cut. 
Particles can be in two places at once and their paths are not always straightforward. One of the strangest aspects of quantum mechanics is the idea of quantum fluctuations. Imagine a calm pond, undisturbed and serene. Suddenly, without any apparent cause, tiny ripples appear on the surface. These ripples are like quantum fluctuations, spontaneous bursts of energy that pop in and out of existence without any warning. They are unpredictable and seemingly random. Some physicists believe that the universe itself could have sprung from some kind of quantum fluctuation. This idea suggests that our entire cosmos could have emerged from a tiny, seemingly random burst of energy. In this view, the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of time, but rather a moment when a particularly significant quantum fluctuation occurred, leading to the creation and birth of our universe. It was a pivotal event that set everything we know into motion. If this is true, then time as we know it might not have existed before the Big Bang in any meaningful way. The concept of before becomes irrelevant. It's like asking what the score was before the game began. There was no before in the traditional sense. Nothing that could be measured, not even time or space. The very concept of what happened before would be meaningless. So, time as we understand it may have started ticking only after the Big Bang, making any notion of before a paradox. Exploring the origins of the universe isn't just a scientific endeavor. It's a deeply philosophical one. It forces us to confront some of the biggest questions. Why is there something rather than nothing? What is the nature of reality? What is our place in the grand scheme of things? These are questions that philosophers have grappled with for centuries. And now science is providing us with new tools and insights to tackle them. While we may never have all the answers, the search for knowledge and understanding is a journey worth taking. Thinking about the vastness of the cosmos and the possibility of other universes can fill us with a sense of awe and wonder. It reminds us that we are part of something much larger than ourselves. A cosmic story that's been unfolding for billions of years. So what happened before the Big Bang? The truth is, we don't know for sure. If the Big Bang was the beginning, then the question of what happened before is simply a paradox. Some might ask, what caused the Big Bang? But that question only leads to a never-ending chain of what caused that, and so on, making it a seemingly unanswerable puzzle. But the theories we've explored offer tantalizing glimpses into realms and possibilities beyond our current understanding. Whether it's the elegant simplicity of the no-boundary proposal, the cyclical dance of creation and destruction, the mind-boggling vastness of the multiverse, or the bizarre world of quantum mechanics. These ideas challenge us to think bigger, bolder, and beyond the confines of our everyday experience. The quest to understand our universe's origins is an ongoing one, and each new discovery brings us closer to unlocking the secrets of the cosmos. The universe is full of mysteries, and the more we learn, the more we realize we don't know. But that's part of the beauty of science. It's a never-ending journey of exploration and discovery. So what do you think happened before the Big Bang? Do any of the theories we've discussed resonate with you? Share your thoughts, ideas, and questions in the comments below. Remember, the universe is a big place, and there's room for all of us to explore its mysteries together.